Today, we're going to talk about the power of being like an ant mound. You ask yourself in your mind, how in God's world is he going to share something dealing with leadership or dealing with personal growth as it relates to an ant mound? Yes, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to. And I'm going to share it in a way which is naturally me. You see, during the, the dry seasons here, um, it's very dry. And as it being very dry, the ground is so parched. It is totally cracked all over. And you could literally see the grass literally gasping for water. They're wanting air. They're wanting water. They're wanting life. They're literally dying because it is so hot. It gets so hot at times here that I could probably take a, a, a tin foil, aluminum foil, spread it on the sidewalk, spray it with some olive oil, crack an egg, put it on there, put some coarse salt on top of it, and have me some good, awesome fried eggs. You see, that's how hot it gets here. So you think about that, but one of the unique things that I realize that never happens when it's hot is there is never an ant mound. There is no ant mound outside. You see, the ants have already buried and um, built their nice condos under the ground. All the tunnels, all the highways, all the nice kitchens for their wives and whatever. If you want to turn it into a story, they're all there. They went to Tahiti. They, they're off on vacation. They're enjoying themselves because the temperature is perfect. There is no intrusion. There is nothing that's affecting the way of life. Then all of a sudden, something happened like what happened two days ago when we had five and a half inches of rain, but it was slow. It was slow rain, so it causes that rain to, to seep into the ground. And as it seeped into the ground, all of those nice highways and hallways and kitchen and condos that the ant had built started caving in on itself. And you could imagine uh, their wives telling their husband, husband, I'm losing my kitchen. You need to go dig, dig, dig. We need to get back that kitchen. Our house is falling down. We need to get to work. We can't get to work because the highways are all messed up. So they all argue with one another and they start digging like crazy. And they dig like crazy and dig with such fury that you wake up the next morning and all of a sudden there are these ant mounds all around your yard. Because they want to restore some degree of normalcy to their lives. They have to get to work. You see, they didn't stick around and complain. They didn't stick around and say, woe is me. They didn't stick around and listen to all the naysayers. They went to work and worked on themselves. They went to work and found colossal solutions and then implemented those solutions quickly in order to remedify a problem. You see, as we're going through the pandemic and we're going through all what's going on around us, the worst thing we could ever do is to look at everything and think it's deja vu. Just think that nothing is happening and dig our heads under the sand and pretend nothing is happening. And then all of a sudden, one day I'm going to wake up and it's all going to be back to normal. Yes, there is not going to be a normal. But the fundamental fact is we could be like an ant building an ant mound and we could realize that changes are occurring around us and adjust to those changes. Tune out the people who want to tell you that everybody is crazy and all the stuff that's happening is just a mirage, you know, and look at it from a realistic standpoint and say, what do I need to do in order to address what's going on? How do I change the way how my company operates? Operates. How do I change the type of customer service I'm giving? How do I change my delivery methods? How do I change and fine tune the way how my infrastructure is set up? We need to re-examine the way how we do things and look at how things are changing and adjust to the change so that we could juxtaposition ourselves alongside what's happening and hence being able to catapult us forward. We want to be able to position ourselves in such a way that we come out running. We want to be able to position ourselves that we come out on top. You ask yourself, well, how do I do that? I've only done one thing or two things all of my life. You know, I want to encourage you today. Never give up. 
Never, never give up. Never buy into systems that allow you to, you to be suppressed. Systems that say you have to be dependent on something and then don't do anything for yourself. Never do that because what that does, it keeps you stagnant. It keeps you in stalemate. It keeps you suppressed. And anything that keeps you suppressed does not allow you to grow. You have to be allowed to grow. One simple method that I use a lot when I'm talking to people or when I'm helping people moving forward is a retooling method. Just like you take retooling, you know, you're retooling a tool, you know, re putting a new bit in a bit, yeah, in, 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 in a drill, you know, or retooling a vertijet, you know, when you're, when, you're, when, when you're milling rice or any of those things. You see, you have to retool. So there's a retooling method. What's a simple retooling method that anybody could use. Get a notepad and write down all the stuff that you can do. Just write. Write like crazy. Can you bake cake? Can you take photographs? Can you mow yards? Can you clean house? Can you write resumes? Can you edit resumes? Can you tutor? What subjects can you tutor? Can you be a secretary? Can you be a receptionist? How good are you with hospitality? Can you work in a hospital? How good are you in entering data? And all of that. And you write down every single thing that you can do. And when you write down every single thing that you do, go back and then Reevaluate it and shoot a check mark next to things that people are willing to pay you for because you're that good at it. You are so good at them that people will be willing to pay you for. And that's what I call retooling. So therefore, you may have to temporarily readjust your sales to where you're going. You may not be, you may be a home sit down or you may have been laid off or you may have been out of work, but then you find ways and means of how to get through this. And what you will find when you put your eggs in more than one basket and they are all working for you, you'll probably end up way ahead from where you were at the beginning. So it's all about implementing your giftings, implementing your skill set, implementing what has been deposited within you. Instead of sitting down there being like an ant and start digging and start digging and redigging those tunnels, redigging those 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 runways, re redigging those rooms, redigging those areas in your life and keep moving forward. Another thing that you're going to need to do is encourage yourself. Quit listening to all the naysayers. Turn off all the negative news and listen and read wholesome things. Read the good book daily. Pray. Encourage one another. Read motivational books. Read books that inspire you. Watch podcasts and listen to podcasts that inspire you. I like watching. When I'm watching anything on YouTube, the most thing I watch on YouTube is I got talent. You know, whether Britain got talent or American got talent, uh, X Factor or anything like that. You said, wow, why? Because the fundamental fact is nothing excites me or encourages me more than when I see somebody who everybody thought could do something, do it with excellence. It just puts a fire underneath me. It just set a fire to those coals and Flavian keeps burning. Flavian keeps burning and Flavian keeps burning. So find ways and means of encouraging yourself and keep moving forward. Create support groups. Create groups of people that you can network with. People who are like-minded. People who will propel you forward. Find mentors. Find coaches. Find people that will coach you. Off, ask them to coach you. And don't remember, <laughs> not the best things in life are not free. So if you have to pay for it, figure out, work it out. You know, how to pay for the coaching, how to pay for the training, how to pay for what. Take a new course, take a course, uh, learn to hear the voice of God, all of those different things. You know, take courses that will benefit you and help you to walk in a time like this. Take Take uh, instrumental courses as well. Courses with, that deals with instrument. Learn to play an instrument because the fact is, you know, whenever you are pondering and worrying about things, know if you can play a harp or a violin or a piano or something, you get your emotions and you get your feelings out there. So go out there today and learn. <laughs> the power of being like an ant mound. Learn the power of being like an ant and building an ant mound. You know, learning never, never, never giving up. 
and go out there and have an awesome growth day. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the subscribe button below. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to select the bell because by selecting the bell, it gives you the wonderful opportunity to be notified whenever I add a new video. God bless you and go out there and be like an ant mound and do not give up. Do not sit and do not rest, but work towards your destiny. God bless you.